the Dakota that lived on the plains were known as the Teton Sioux. And to them, the buffalo was their most important possession because they lived and died on horses. With horses, they were able to hunt buffalo much more effectively than they were able to if they were on the ground. And so they usually picked the best horse, trained him, fed him, babied him, and they used this horse. And sometimes a buffalo horse is also called a war pony. And this war pony was trained in such a way that he responded. If he touched his knee or he pulled on his mane, he would stop. And that left the buffalo pony's owner hands-free too. He could do anything he wanted. He could shoot an arrow or he could sling a tomahawk or he could do anything like that. And a buffalo pony, because it was so valuable, was often given away at some point to prove the owner's generosity. If somebody saved his son or somebody saved his life or somebody did something that he was really grateful for, then he would take and give his best pony to that person. Because, as I said before, the best leaders amongst the Dakota were always the poorest.